Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, August 10th, and we are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. Well, again, if, if you watched my video this morning, before the CPI came out, we gave you a total roadmap of what needs to be done once the market decides what it wants to do. And we said clearly, uh, above staying above uh, July's high with an inside month up, getting to June's high, getting acceptance above that, and buyers are going to win. Well, boy, oh boy, did we do that this uh, today. Um, we go out. We did not fill all the single prints for May 5th, but told the room that's not going to be an easy thing to do. We battled 4,200 uh, for a good part of the day, back and forth through it in ES, and that's the reason we traded back and forth through the opening so many times. I mean, on a day with a gap as big as it is, $4, almost $4 worth, to go back and forth through the opening so much is a little peculiar, but not when the opening is right at 4200 basically. So no surprise. We go out with a small price probe. We don't hold any single prints. We have a beautiful afternoon pullback that holds an F. Uh, we'll get to those in a minute. I had a good day, but all my trading was done in the morning. And well, I'll tell you why. Um, but first off, um, let's go to the other ones real quick. Triple Qs, they go out with a price probe. Nine wide afternoon pullback in F, and they hold their gap. Russell goes out only six wide. Price probe, afternoon pullback in F. They hold their gap, and ES and SPY hold their gaps. Um, triple Qs are in a three-day balance, though. They did not take out Monday's high. So you're going to have balance rules in effect for tomorrow morning. I think they have a better chance of getting out of that th three-day balance to the upside prior to filling this gap, but it remains to be seen how they act tomorrow. Um, look, again, uh, why you don't come and check out CamelbackTrading.org the way we break down this market and show these profiles live is beyond me for a dollar a day. Seriously, if you're serious about uh, about trading, I know there's, there's some really good people out there, and if you're with them, that's great. But I feel the majority of you aren't with anybody. So if not me... Go to them, but stay away from the majority of people that are just on Twitter or YouTube, okay? You'll see people who put their money where their mouth is and call the market from both sides and give you a reason why the market's doing what it's doing, except instead of saying, uh, I'm long here, I'm short here, sell will come. Please keep that in mind. And again, thank you for liking and subscribing to this YouTube channel. So, I did nothing but long today. I took a long and A period on the pullback. In the gap, um, because <clears throat> I was comfortable doing it, only a small one. It was do I did it right before the turnover of the 945, when the algos, when the market's strong, generally kick up, and that's what it did. Then in B period, even though we one time frame down, I told the room, I said, look, I highly doubt we're going trend down this early in the day with higher value, a gap of that magnitude, um, and the indices being up. Now, I also found out, see, I'm still learning with futures. I thought I could only do three. I didn't realize I could do up to nine with what I have in my account, nine or ten. So, and I didn't realize that till C period because I bought right before um, A's low, went long one mini, bought another one below A's low, and then bought another one almost at the day's low. Wasn't quite at the day's low because I'm like, I really think this is going, you know, we're not going on trend. If I knew at that time I could buy up to 10 contracts, I would have bought at least three down here more instead of the one. Anyway, got paid as we went back up. Again, took a long in C, thinking we were going to pop above B. Got paid on that. Got long in D on a pullback. I didn't chase it, but on the pullback, thinking we would have single prints, which we did, and I longed E too because of the single prints and made money. Didn't stay married to any of them. But did very well. I traded between one, and I still I never went more than three lots uh, uh, at any time today. This is the only time I would have went bigger because I thought it was worth it. <clears throat> now, I was eating an F when F pulled back. I thought F might pull back a little more, so I wasn't upset. I missed it. Obviously, that's all it did, and we went back up. So later on, I was like, okay, I missed it, and then in L. I actually had a bid in. I'm in threes now. If I was in ones, value low was at 94. I had a bid in at 94 for three minis. 
I would have bought three more at where the park had originally been, and then I would have seen if we had gotten below C's low, which I was not expecting. But lo and behold, we only got down to 75, 94, 75 in L, never hit my bid, and it went away without me. Again, it's not about my trading. Nobody cares how my trades or how much money I make or lose. The people in my room care about how I'm seeing the market and why. And you keep people out of making bad decisions thinking, oh, we're going to flush now. The odds of this market flushing was slim and none today because everything that was so in favor of the buys. And I told the room that. So just because I didn't take the long in L, and I told them there's a good chance we price probe. Well, we did. But I didn't do anything. But that's the game. That's, that's what's important about this room. So had a good day. And now we'll see tomorrow if we get follow through. As far as destinations, so today spies high is 420 four, and 14 cents. And then those single prints, they start now 42015 and get filled at 42111 for May 5th. Then we have the highest accepted price, 42163 for May 5th. And then nothing to 425 daily high. And then 42966 monthly high, which is May's high in my next target. Again, write these down. I'm not going to repeat them. For the downside, we have nine wide at 418.77. I'm not using D's high because we just didn't get far enough away from it, so it's kind of useless between uh, the, using the day's high and D's high. Then we have the afternoon pullback, F's low of 418.33, and today's low of 416.72, daily low, and then fill in the gap at 412.75, 397 point gap. And then on the charts. So here's the monthly. I am now calling the monthly up. It's an inside month up. We took out July and June's high. We took out June's high by over $3. Now, some pe again, this is subjective. I'm calling the monthly up. We came into balance last month. It was down to balance. Now I'm out of balance up out of an inside month. If you want to use May as a four-month balance, I don't have a problem with that, but I think we have a decent chance of getting to May's high. And then we'll see what happens. If it fails there and then we take out this month's low at some point in September, then we become a big balance. But for now, the monthly is up for me. May's high is my next target. The weekly is certainly up. One time framing up for four weeks. And the daily comes out of a either a three or an eight-day balance, whatever you want to use, up. Gap is my main focus. We spent one day below that trend line. Right now, we're above it. And the 20, at some point, uh, not the 20, the 200 might actually, by the time if we do get to May's high, become a very focal point um, at the 430 level. And then just quickly, I want to show you what I was talking about in triple Qs. Qs never took out Monday's high. Markets don't go bull bear, right? So they were in balance yesterday, uh, coming into yesterday. Now, again, if you went bear on it, I don't have a problem with that because we basically came out of a four-day balance or three-day balance bear. So today now, you call it balance. Remember, they went home with a gap yesterday, and we gapped above it. So now we're in balance. If we take out today's high and Monday's high, the daily would be up. If we take out today's low and stay inside of here, then all it would be is a four-day balance. I just wanted to show you that. And one other thing while we're on a roll. Look at Russell. Russell's the leader here, my friends. Russell took out May's high of 193.93. So they're clearly up. And now if they get acceptance, key word, acceptance above May's high, well, April's high of 209.44 comes into focus. Again, Hope you had a good day trading. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.